fun and festive banners, a showcase for your doodling, 3D embossed cards, and a little dazzle with jewels. They're all part of today's scrapbook soup. Today's scrapbook soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America, SakuraofAmerica.com. a fun and festive banner today, something that's upcycled from some cardboard boxes that I think you might have around. And it's totally customizable for any occasion or any person. And I'm here with Joe Pearson from Michaels. And Joe, you're gonna show us how to make it. I am, you know, isn't it funny that we can just look at some of the things that we just take for granted and throw away and make these fabulous banners out of just old cardboard and, and some fabulous scrapbook paper. Very cool. Well, the one we're gonna make today is the baby banner. Mm -hmm. And of course, thinking that you can make any kind of a banner out of this, whether it's a birthday celebration or whatever. So we've just taken some regular cardboard mm -hmm. and we've cut it into the shape we want. Of course, you could do anything. Do you just you cut that to. with scissors? Just cut it with a scissors, okay. or you could cut it with a, you know, with a um, craft knife. A craft knife. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to peel away and we're going to kind of distress some mm -hmm. of this cardboard. I see you're using yeah. your scissors there to just uh, help you get in there. See, and we're, there's no right or wrong reason to what we've done here. And you can peel off as little, mm -hmm. and you know what, if you don't want to peel it off, you can cover it with paper, but we kind of mm -hmm. like the, the look like of pulling look. the paper away. I yeah. know it's kind of cool. But then what we're going to do is we're just going to take some white acrylic mm -hmm. paint, and we're just going to kind of do a whitewash. Now, a whitewash is where you're just going to take your paint and really keep a paper towel by you because you're, you're really kind of working the paint into the brush, but okay. you're not painting the cardboard we're just kind of distressing it so see we it's just almost added, so it's look, a really dry brush is very what dry you're using. absolutely okay so that's all we've had to do with that then we can go and we can start decorating now oh, thousands of pieces of paper to choose from so we we picked out this great little pink set now this mm -hmm. is just a piece of uh, just a cardboard letter mm -hmm. and we have just adhesive to the paper and you've got your piece of yes, paper there. I see that and this is glitter paper that doesn't come off on your hands at all which is so nice because you don't have all that glitter everywhere. <laughs> you but, know. Yeah, but that's still okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let you start cutting okay. that out and I'm gonna show you. So then these are the fun little flowers that we made. Okay. There are all kinds of embellishments too you know that you can get to put on your banners. This again is just some scrapbook paper and look mm -hmm. what we did. Crumpled it right we in your hands. We crumpled hand. it up and opened it up. So I've, now that I have my paper crumpled mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some chalk kind of and I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit now remember mm -hmm. the more you put on this is not going to come off so okay. you want to just start light uh, and you know, build it up look. to get a darker color if you right. want one right so we've done that and then I've just kind of layered some other pieces look mm -hmm. what we're going to do we're just going to put those on top of each other now would you ink each of those layers or you know, leave you, them plain. You know, you could do either one because I'm going to show you a little trick that we're going to do with some, of course, glitter. So we're going to take our fun little button pieces here. Okay. And lay it on here. And you know, buttons are one of those great universal things that everybody has and identifies with, you know? You know what? Isn't it fun to go through Grandma's button box? I love that. They are they are wonderful. I love that. But what we've done here, I want to show you. I have this one all put together. Look what we did. We we layered the the different layers together, mm -hmm. and then our fun little button. And mm -hmm. look what we did. We just took and put a fun little piece of ribbon in there. Now okay. the trick to getting the ribbon is is just you know cut your corners real sharp, and you'll be able to poke it right through there. So, so it's so, almost like the corner of the ribbon acts as a needle to absolutely. pull through. Absolutely. So what we're going to do now is we can just take we're going to tape our letter on okay. here. Okay. So let's do that. And I've only got part of mine cut out. It takes oh, a little bit of time. Okay. That's okay. You gotta be a little bit careful. So 
And you could, you know, you could glue this on if you mm -hmm. wanted to. No rhyme or reason again as to how you want to build this. So we're just mm -hmm. going to put this on here. Okay. We've got our great little flower, and we're just going to use some little self-adhesive dots here. So They're, those are sort of something that raises it up, a foam right. adhesive. Right. Okay. So you see, we've put that on here, and we can just go and put our little flower anywhere that we want to. Very pretty. Now, you know, there's all kinds of fun embellishments that mm -hmm. are already made. A lot of them already have the adhesive, so they're ready to go. So look, we can just put. Oh, and it matches anything. the pink color oh, perfectly. It's that same baby how pink. How fun is that? Very sweet. But you know what? This project is not complete because it doesn't have glitter on it. Oh, so got to add some glitter. We have to have glitter. So I'm just going to use the glitter glue. Okay. And look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around the edge mm -hmm. of my wow, whole. Wow, that's such a detailed this point. Awesome. I know it's very cool because you can really get in. Now you can go all the way around, and if you mm -hmm. want to, you could add some little polka dots here by just some little dots. And just customize that paper exactly how you want it. Exactly. Now we can just take mm -hmm. and punch some holes in. Now okay. you can hang your banner. The one that we have mm -hmm. up there, we have hung on just some transite with some pearls. Mm -hmm. But you could use ribbon. You could use, mm -hmm. you know, you could use other paper if you Anything wanted to. Anything you'd like. So maybe if you want something a little more masculine, you could use like alphabet beads or little duck beads or something for a baby boy. Absolutely. You know, they make mm -hmm. they make uh, little baseballs and footballs and right. just all kinds of fun things. I think so. that's cool. And you have brought some other banners too that are a little bit different. So there's one right behind us. This one is made not on cardboard, mm -hmm. but just like craft paper, like a heavy mm. craft paper. And again, what's fun is we've personalized it with pictures that you've mm -hmm. run off. Either use your, you know, always make always make a copy of your pictures when uh -huh. you're making something, so you don't use. And the instructions, of course, are going to be on our website, right? Everything is there. It's true. And this one is mm -hmm. our celebrate. Yes, so. I love the glitter paper that you've used again for those um, those accordion fold sort of flowers or the whatever flowers. we're going to call those. And tell me a little bit about how the ribbon goes through this banner. You know what? We just took and punched two holes mm -hmm. so that you're just really, you're almost kind of sewing a, you know, just, just a, like a running, running stitch, stitch absolutely, yeah. around there. And look what's fun is we really have dimensional. So that's mm -hmm. where kind of the little dimensional the dots adhesive, come out. The of right. course. So you can just, you know, you don't have to, mm -hmm. you don't have to glitter it up. Mm -hmm. Some letters are already cut out. So there's just lots of fun things Joe, to do. Joe, this has been another fantastic project. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're quite welcome. And we'll be right back. You know, photographs are always so personal and we just love our pets, right? Well, Christina Mark joins us from Elmer's and she's going to show us how we can make a personalized frame to go along with these wonderful photographs. And it's very, very easy, right? Anybody uh, can do it? Absolutely, Julie. Very easy to do. The first thing you want to do is start out picking your favorite photo and I've chosen mine of my dog, Bella. We're going to go ahead and take the top of the frame here, lay it right on the mat and you can actually go ahead and line up the lines on the mat with the frame. So We're, that's going to help you because this is a float. This is glass a floating frame. glass frame, uh -huh. exactly. So we're going to use the paint markers on this today. Mm -hmm. And actually to start with that, you want to kind of prime the marker a little bit. So you'll just give it a shake and a tap um, and that will actually prime the marker for you there. Okay. We're going to start using the black marker. Okay. Now let me just center Bella just a little sure, bit for absolutely. us. She kind of, with the static and the glass and everything. She I love this around. idea of using the, um, the mat for a guy because now we know that we've got a nice two inch border all the way around. Absolutely. Right? Very easy to do. So you want to take the paint marker in black and just I'm going to doodle a little bit around this, around that to it, the one inch frame that we have here all the way around. Just make a nice fun design here. You know, doodling is so much fun because you can do yes. whatever you want. You can. There's no no real uh, direction here. You can just do whatever um, design you like. Now, if you need a little bit of guidance, mm -hmm. then what other ways, what, what other things can we use? Well, you can also use a template actually, and we've done one here. Okay. Um, you can also go ahead and do your own design for this. So what we'll do is we'll take this okay, template. Let me lift this glass up for you. We'll Thank you. Put Bella over here for a little rest. Wonderful. There we so go. So as you can see, my outline is a little bit larger than the template, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and take the black paint marker again and actually just go ahead and we'll j just draw over some of these beautiful flowers here. And we'll also go ahead and maybe do some of this brick pattern down here. 
and it, really there's a rubber stamp design images in magazines yes. because this is glass and we can paint on glass I mean the sky's the limit right? it is it really is and if you do mess up a little bit while it's still wet you can go right back over with these paint markers Okay. Very easy to do. Okay. Now these are really great because we're using it on glass right now, which is yeah. a non-porous surface, but there's lots of other surfaces that we can use these They're, on. Absolutely. You can use these on fabric, on leather, on paper itself, or the glass. So there's many surfaces you can use. Okay. All right. Well, I know we've got one already done over Thank here, you. so let me swap this out. I'll take the pattern. To, um, you know what, let's turn that over Great. like that and let me pass that to you. Now this is the front. Are we going to color on the front? Or? We're going to color on the back actually. So you're going oh, to, okay, flip to flip that over. over and you want to make sure that your black outline has dried completely of course. And then we're going to take some of the colored paint markers and go right inside these beautiful flowers and you kind of just fill them in. So it's really nice how well these can go down. And I'll do this larger that one is, as well. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's such a pretty look. I mean, when you put it on at first, it looks as if it's translucent. It does. But if you do it a little bit more thickly, it can be more opaque. Or And then also when it dries, I think it dries a little bit more opaque. It does. It's beautiful. And these are really nice bright colors that we're using. I think mean, mm -hmm. perfect for spring. So we'll go ahead and then we're going to do the center of these flowers as well. So we're just going to push down and have the center in go. here. And you know, I like the fact, I mean, here you're going right over the, the squiggly lines, you, <laughs> for want to yes. a better word for the center. Yeah. But then when you turn it over, the color's going to come out behind the black. It, it's kind of like leaded, a leaded glass. It does, it something. has that stained glass look yeah. to it. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. And we'll try the blue as well, and then kind of go back through some of these patterns over here. And sometimes you want to be able to keep the marker a bit upright. That helps you get more of the paint out. Uh huh. There you go. That is so Beautiful. pretty. Beautiful. It really is. So you'll want to go through the whole pattern, fill all this in with the color, and let this dry completely. Mm -hmm. So let's assemble the frame. Great. Let me move this out of the way and let me pass you Bella's photograph. Thank there you, you go. Take these out. They're really easy to use. I'm just going to do two of the corners here to show you, but you can actually just go ahead and press right down and it'll peel off very easily. Great. And then we're going to go ahead and put that right on the center. That. Okay. Cool. And then we just put the front on, add our little pieces, right. and then we have this beautiful frame yes. photograph. Christina, I just love your dog and the frame. It's perfect. <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, Julie, you have a new tool to show us, and we have some projects actually made using this tool, right? Yeah, we're going to play with this fun machine, and it both cuts and embosses. And you know I like things that do a double duty. Okie dokie. So we're going to emboss first, and I just have a regular piece of paper here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to put it right into, oops, right into that machine right along there. I'm going to step on the foot pedal that I have down here, mm -hmm. and it's just going to feed right through. I don't even have to touch it. It comes out the other side, and can you see that embossing? You know what? I'm going to hand this over to you, actually. Yeah. Because sometimes you can see the embossing better if you take an ink pad or some chalk okay, let and me just, do that. I'll just raise some that chalk up. On this. Now, and you can this... emboss all sorts of things. Like this is just a piece of tin foil from the kitchen. And let me show you what it's like if you run that through the machine. There we go. You know, talking about the kitchen, this is a great way to use up leftovers. It is. So you can paper, really of course, <laughs> not food. <laughs> You can really see how that looks on the metal. I think it's really cool. You could use alcohol inks or anything that works on a non-porous surface to really decorate mm -hmm. that up. We even have a card here that uses that embossed looking Embossed metal. and also cut. So I noticed cool. that's got a fancy edge yes. too. And there are other designs that we can also emboss, other wheels. And we can change the wheel and we can put in a cutting blade. So let's do that. All right. So I've changed this over to a cutting blade, and mm -hmm. there are several different blades that you can use. We have a straight blade in there, and I can adjust the width that this cuts with. I find all the measurements here, so let's do two inches. That's right there. I'm going to just go ahead and put the paper in, and I'm going to step on that pedal. I keep having to balance on one foot. There you go. It goes right through. 
and you've and got a lovely cut. cut. And it can cut all sorts of things. Here's some felt that we've cut this time with a pinking uh, edge right up and down mm -hmm. like that. So there's different blades too. Exactly, mm -hmm. all sorts of different types. This is foam over here that it cut through and you can actually see the embossing on that too. So this is great for all sorts of mixed media because you can play around with lots of different types of materials. Yeah. And you know, I'll tell you what's really cool. I mean, we're used to cutting 12 inch Mm -hmm. uh, 12 inch lengths of paper, but you could really do something like 12 feet or 12 oh, no, yards. That's fantastic. You just have a roll of something and banner, just keep an on going. fold book, all sorts yeah, of stuff like that. Very, that would yeah. be a really big book, wouldn't De it? Well, you know, I think it'd be fun though. <laughs> now, what about, I mean, what about regular fabric? I mean, will it cut regular yep, fabric? Absolutely, absolutely. This is actually adhesive backed felt. We can go ahead and we can put that right through the machine. And that's another nice thing about this machine, which is um, it doesn't get all gunked up from adhesive, so that'll go right through there. And here we go, it comes right apart. Cuts like a charm. Exactly. And you emboss it too. Mm -hmm. That is really, really neat. And then I, I can see that, that, I mean, we can use lots and lots of leftovers from scrapbooking Absolutely. and Absolutely, the next time you finish a layout, you've done yeah. all the work of collecting all your scraps and coordinating all right. your paper. Why not put those scraps to good use and Keep make a couple note bag. cards. And I mean, look at these note cards yeah. down here. They're just all made with scraps of paper and they've been embossed and cut mm -hmm. and everything. You know, that's a really nice idea. Julie, thanks a lot. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Well, Julie's got a great card to uh, share with us today. You know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, we're going to find out just how to do that. We're going to make a card, especially for that occasion. Now, I'm going to start with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, mm -hmm. which I'm going to cut in half. An eight and a half by 11 is a really nice size because when you cut it in half, you'll end up with two quarter cards. So we'll just put that over here to the measuring. Mm -hmm. and line it up at the top and use the cutting blade. We'll set that one piece aside and then I'm actually going to score this piece. So let me put the cutting blade down to the mm -hmm. bottom because this time we're going to score this. It makes it so much easier to fold. It does and I love that you can cut and score with the same tool. There we go. And so there we have our card. Okay. Now if you would like to take that. I will. I'll take that from you. Julie. Thank you. Okay. And then here we go. And now we're going to build it. Now I have some paper here. I've got mm -hmm. two different patterns, mm -hmm. but I'm going to use the other side. Okay. And let me see. We have our glue stick right mm -hmm. here. You know, I really like it when you are building a card and then you have the double-sided papers and you just have so many more choices. I know. We just, we have options and we love mm -hmm. the, all those different options to be created. And you know, I used to think I was really, really bad at making cards and I got the best suggestion I've ever gotten from somebody who said, the trick to making beautiful cards is to keep it simple and to not overthink it. Yes. Definitely. I like that's really good advice. You know what? That's good advice for a lot of different things. It is. Don't so think too hard. Don't get think in the too way. hard. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to think hard while I actually center this near the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a sticker. Okay. That actually it's not a sticker. Again, it's paper. Double sided we, paper. Yeah, it was border you know, paper. I, you know why it looks like a sticker to me is because it, that paper it's has shiny. that shiny sort of raised embossed look. Exactly. And so immediately you think, oh, that's a sticker. And that's exactly what I did. So that Those is so cool. Those are cute little we'll lemon lime and orange bottom. slices. Isn't that sweet? I see some grapefruit in there. Now then, we're going to take our glass of lemonade. Mm -hmm. That's just a die cut. And we'll just pull that out, and it's nice that it's pre-cut. It is. And we'll no put fancy that cutting. On and here. of course, you could embellish these die cuts if you wanted with little pen lines or any paint or anything to personalize it. Lots and lots of different things. You know, it makes it so easy for us to be creative these days. It's true. And I love now, embellishing pre-made products because then you know that you've got good design underneath it. And you just add your own little flair. Right. And this is actually. Chipboard. A chipboard die cut cool. with adhesive already on the back. Mm -hmm. And here's this little lemon guy. Isn't he adorable? He is. Sweet. Okay, now we are going to give this card some bling because okay. we love bling. Yes, right? yes. So I'm going to actually use this little applicator out of this bottle of little shiny mm -hmm. uh, sequence. Looks and like a makeup applicator. It, it does. Uh, you know, you can use a cotton swab mm -hmm. too. But this is handy because it's right here. And I'm going to, we'll start off with the green. Okay. And we're going oh, to place a right green up. right in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, whoops, you pop right off again. <laughs> there we go. The one that is getting away. So I've got it in place. Okay. And then this is our setting tool. Okay. Now there's batteries in here, so uh -huh. we don't need electricity. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Now you don't see anything until you actually press this little button right mm -hmm. here. The red light comes on. Okay. 
And that and lets you know that to, it's heating up, right? That's going right. to get really hot. It is. So and you don't want to touch it. Don't want to touch the end to make sure that it's hot okay. enough. And I'm going to place it right so on you, top. So how do you know that it's hot enough then? Well, I'm going to push it down mm -hmm. and hold it there for about three mm -hmm. seconds. And you can actually see the glue melting a little bit. Okay, because each of up. the rhinestone uh, has glue on the back and the heat tool melts it. It does. We'll and do you dip the applicator in water every single time? No, it's already damp. Okay. And it's, you know, if I was at home, okay, let's be real. I'd lick it. You know. <laughs> Okay. You might not want to share your tools in that yeah. case. <laughs> no, we definitely not. Well, we just have a mm -hmm. whole bunch. Okay, then again, now, now I'm keeping, what's important is that as long as you're pressing the mm -hmm. tool down on top of the sequin, mm -hmm. I am pressing that button. Okay. okay. Now, I'm lifting it off, yep. and even though it's switched on, it's not going to be hot. It only gets hot when you press the button. Okay. But you do need to switch it off by pushing this back afterwards so it doesn't the button doesn't accidentally get pushed when you're putting it away in your okay. toolbox. Now then so I'm going to add some little pink ones. And these come in I see cheeks. lots of different colors and sizes. Mm -hmm. And also shapes. Really? So there's something other than the circles then? Uh huh, definitely. Because I see you just picked up a little itty bitty I, tiny that's a one. a tiny pink one. He's and do you have be... to change the tip on the tool or anything nope. with the different Same sizes one, or shapes? All the time. And again, it's still switched on, so I'm okay. pressing the button. Hold that down. And hold it. And, and go straight for it. upright. So obviously, About we just three put seconds. it on that paper, and now you're putting it on chipboard. Could you do the same thing on fabric or metal, or are there only certain surfaces where this no, works? No, you can do it on fabric. And we'll look at some other samples in just cool. a second, Julie. Where it's actually used on a dress and on a hat. Don't you think that lemon looks a little bit like a baby, like a big bald baby who's crying? Aww. <laughs> I think so. I, I don't know. He's just he's, he's cute. Whatever it he is, he's very cute. So let's add some blue ones. Okay. <laughs> and uh, is there anything else that we need to know about these gems? Well, like you said, they come in a lot of different sizes. They come in a lot of different shapes and a lot mm -hmm. of different colors. And as you can see, they are very easy to apply they with are. this tool. And it's totally, I'm trying to flip this over here. Very cool. And while we're talking, and it's very, actually, very it's very easy. hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so hot. we have to be Indeed. careful it's about what product. we call it. It's a hot product. It's we have true. to be careful about what we say. Well, is you know, cool. and speaking of customizing your supplies, I love that on the card that you have shown, the same card that we're working on, the lemonade sticker, the cardstock sticker was placed slightly to the left, and so the excess was cut off. And that's another great way to customize mm -hmm. your supplies. Just choose how much of them to use. And the fabric, obviously, you brought a whole bunch of other fun stuff here, right? This hat, which Isn't I think adorable? is super snazzy. I, I think that would suit you. I, I really do. <laughs> I'm but not you a hat what? person. This is, this is actually folded at mm -hmm. the bottom, but this is a little uh, pillowcase dress. No, it's a it's pillowcase. It's a dress. Oh, I'm going to open this up. It's a pillowcase dress for a little oh, girl. Isn't that, that adorable? Is and then look cute. at the center of these flowers. Oh, that is that was, corduroy? Or it's like it chenille is. corduroy and that or something. Was actually done with the uh, bread maker. That is so Isn't that awesome? cute. And I can see the big swirl here. Uh-huh. Right. And of course, you've got the layout down there with that adorable bee. And again, fuzzy. I, I must have bee something. I have to touch everything. <laughs> It was well, terrible it's as a child. Touchable. It's it's very touchable. True. It's true. And then you've got another layout I see with a beaver on it that also you've added uh, where normally where the shine in the balloons would be. There's that cute little sparkle. Then we've added our sparkle. Of the jewels, which is really, really neat. We love really anything neat. we can add sparkle And this there. is the fanciest way to hand over microwave popcorn <laughs> that I have ever seen in my entire life. What a great gift. I mean, you've even got the card in there. It's very yeah, cool. Yeah, it's totally adorable. And then I see that here... You could put just you have a little removable note in here mm -hmm. that you can put into that little holder and with a little bit of two and again we've got the bling on there which makes it yes. so pretty julie this has been another fantastic project <laughs> so too. and we'll be right back well we've got time for just a little bit more and julie's got some fabulous finds for us so what you got well two things the first is transfer artist paper. And I tell you, I really love this. You actually put the transfer artist paper through your regular inkjet computer. Okay, mm -hmm. and right now through your you printer. Can, right through the printer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> From the computer through the printer. And then when you've got the image on the paper, right. you can actually put it anywhere on any surface mm -hmm. with an iron. Now, here we've got an example of it on fabric, mm -hmm. canvas, book. Uh, we have it on a card Very here. Very cool. This is on some luchador, right? A luchador, yeah. Very that's cool right. stuff. It's transparent and it goes right through the paper right underneath. Through. 
And then this is on oh, a onesie. little onesie. Super cute. And look, you can't feel, you mm -hmm. know, where it is. It just Well, I think it's nice. The image is really, really Soft. clear. Yeah, and very you clear. Know? And here we have a photograph that's actually on fabric. Mm -hmm. Two pieces of fabric fused very together. Neat. And then again, we have something on fabric. And of course, that you've got the cool. printing all the Well, you the know, way and around. transfers are so great. Well, for stuff you can't put through your printer. I yeah, mean, that's exactly. the thing, right? Now, we've just shown fabric and paper here, mm -hmm. but you can also put it on wood and you can also put it on glass. I mean, can you believe that? You just need an iron. Very cool. And a printer. I'm a transfer fan. And a computer. Okay. Now, then, the other thing that I uh -huh. thought was really, really neat is this button punch. And what you would want to do is actually put any kind of paper right in this punch. Okay. And then punch down on it. Okay. And we're going to turn it upside down. Mm -hmm. And that's a well, that flower looks shape. Like a flower doesn't look like a button. Well, exactly. It would have holes in, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to show you the okay. next step because I want to show you the project. Okay? Right. But then you get these complement or these matching button shapes okay. with acrylic. You take the sticky off the back. Uh -huh. It's going to come right off, and then ah, you would just put and now it, it becomes right a button. on top, and now it becomes a button. I see. And so they have all the different shapes and all right. the matching acrylic pieces. I can see pieces. there's this now layout down right there. down here, With and the it pink has roses on it. Mm -hmm. And there's your custom button tied through with some embroidery floss. And then right next to it, I can see those flower buttons, like That's the one that you just made mm -hmm. on that page. That Isn't page that is so cute. I where love she that. Colored her face. And then just the regular round buttons. So cute. Thanks again for joining us today. I hope you try out your own recipe for scrapbook soup. Visit scrapbooksouptv.com for a mix of ideas, a mix of ingredients, a mix of designers, and all of the instructions for every project found on this series of Scrapbook Soup. Create your own recipe for great scrapbooking. This is show 105. A complete set of all 13 episodes of Scrapbook Soup Series 100 is available for $39.99 plus shipping and handling. A mix of designers, techniques, and projects, all in one complete package to watch anytime. Visit ScrapbookSoupTV.com to place your order. Today's Scrapbook Soup has been brought to you in part by Michael Stores Incorporated, where creativity happens. Michaels.com, Sakura Color Products of America, SakuraofAmerica.com.